just want to do a quick video. Um, on Valentine's Day, when you guys were all getting shitty candy, cheesy cards, and old flowers, this is what me and the wife got each other for Valentine's Day. We got each other machetes. This is the one that, that I got her. It's a 10-inch Raymere style, they call it. That's not what it's called. I can't remember the Malaysian name, but these are made in Bidor, Malaysia, and uh, they're heavy duty. I did a lot of research on these to find out what were the best machetes in the world, and it's pretty much accepted that these are the best machetes in the world. This is the one that she got me. This is a 12 inch Duku Chandong Porang, and uh, I love it. These things came razor sharp. I've already ch chopped up a lot of wood, but uh, let me see if I can find a piece of paper here. And show you how sharp it is. Ah, of course, it's not one to cooperate. There we go. Pretty sharp for hacking up a log until it was pretty much sawdust, not even sharpening it. I bought a file so that I could sharpen these when I got them and I didn't even need to. Um, I'll roll in some close-ups of the maker's marks because there's some maker's marks here. You can see it's Bidor, B-I-D-O-R, Malaysia. This is the maker's little mark. Looks like a couple of swords, cross swords. These are hand forged from, I think, 5160 spring steel. Looks ugly, but that's just because they clear coat it with, I don't know, they shlack it or something and makes it shiny, but then when you start chopping with it, it starts rubbing up that stuff and making it look like crap. Get a close up view of the whole thing. These handles are pinned. It's got a rat tail tang. And you guys think, well, a full tang is better. Well, if you're using a chopping tool like this, you got a full tang in there, it's going to be vibrating into your hand. That rat tail tang being inside the handle, it disperses the, the force and the shock. And if you had to make scales, it would be harder to fix this in the field. You know, in the field, if you break the handle, you can just chop down a tree and make a new handle and put it on and you're good to go. They don't even, in Malaysia, they don't even use pins either because that's just something else that you're going to have to work with if you break the handle somehow. It's got a, they got composite handles, just like a plastic. Here's a close-up of this one. Again, a composite handle. I was going to round this, round this off, but uh, this actually fits in my hand really well when you want to use it for a little bit extra stretch, a little extra reach fits in my hand real well just like that hold it like this and then you can choke up on it here for fine stuff give you a close up of this blade these both have uh, tapered blades. I know you can't see it, but underneath here it's a quarter inch thick and it gradually gets thinner to the tip and it, it is an eighth of an inch thick up here. They got a convex edge. 
but these things are incredible. There's only a couple places you can get them from online. Otherwise, you got to go to Malaysia to buy these things. If you happen to be in Malaysia, do yourself a favor and buy like ten of these things because they're only like three or four dollars over there. If you go to buy them and have them sent to America, then the two of these shipped was a hundred bucks. So this one was thirty-nine. That one was forty-two. And uh, it was seventeen dollars for shipping. And uh, just as a comparison, so you guys can get an idea of how big they are, I'll uh, roll in some regular size machetes. This is the machete that you can get at like Walmart. It's uh, I put a new handle on it, but you can see that the blade on this one is longer than the whole parang. Here's a corn knife from uh, Tractor Supply, kind of get an idea, and then here's that last one I just got, heavy duty chopper. On here, this is a paracord, I'll uh, show you a close up of that and how it's wrapped. Alright, all I did was uh, took the end right here, looped it up like that. Then I started going around it. Kept going around until I got to the end. Put it through the loop. Pulled this end. Pulled it through so that it was tight. Then I melted this end right here. Melted it right to the loop and to this piece so that it won't slide. The other end I cut and I melted it right to the handle this handle, this, these composite handles, they melt fairly easy. So I just uh, got a flame in there and melted that down. And that's all there is to it. Now I did it like this so that the, the thicker side would be towards the palm of your hand so that when you're grabbing it, you can put your thumb on this flat part. And you got a little, it just feels a little bit better. And on this one, I wrapped it with like a electrical cable. It's like a phone charger cable. Gives a little bit more grip. That's because it's not sharpened up to there. It's so that you can grip up on it, so that you can do some fine chopping with it or shaving or whatever you need to do. But yeah, I'll uh, roll in some videos uh, sooner or later of me chopping up some stuff for you. And, um,. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, thank you all for watching.